Workers were putting the finishing touches on the new emergency room and patient care center at Highland Medical Center in Burien on April 8th during a media walking tour. The contrast in the current cramped and outdated emergency room was dramatic. The new ER opens officially April 13th. Emergency doctor Sue O'Brien provided the explanations of what the new facilities will offer. Uh, for patients who come in, they get dropped off here. They drive the people can drop them off there, can go around and uh, park down below, and then the ambulance entrance is on the far side. Patients would be triaged here. Actually, what we're really trying to do is direct bed our patients. And uh, so when a patient comes in, if there's a bed available in the back, that they're just taken right to the back and are registered in triage right in the room. As the place fills up, we'll be using the triage room. So. Come on back this way. Then you can see the second triage room. There's a sub waiting area, and there's really things, I hope it's many years before we have to do this, but uh, actually if you had a sprained ankle, you could be brought back, somebody could order uh, an x-ray, send you right over to x-ray, and uh, splint you up here, put you on crutches, and never really have to go to the way back. But, uh, so this can be used for additional purposes as well. If we're really backed up, we got somebody with chest pain, we want to do an EKG even out here, we have a spot to be able to lay a patient down with some privacy and to do that. There's an entry through there, an entry <laughs> over, over here uh, that goes into the main department. So if we come in this way, we have CT and uh, x-ray uh, in the department where we had to go out of the department before. We have a beautiful 64 channel CT which is uh, just as nice as the other one we have. It's amazing the, the pictures you can get on this. So this is our CPOD uh, and this is more of what will grow into in the course of the day, at the really busy time of the day, this will be open. Uh, again, the department is such that uh, any patient can be seen anywhere. Our medics, our wonderful medics. <laughs> Where's Reisenberg at, man? So uh, these are our pod A and B, and this is really the heart of the department. And as the day expands and we get busier, we'll overflow into that area. Another beautiful thing that we have here now that we didn't have in our old department is a, a family room. And so uh, when you have to, uh, you know, speak privately to family members, we have a nice spot for that. These are our two resuscitation trauma rooms, and they're huge. And they're set up such that if there was a disaster and we had to break the doors, we can break the doors out and actually fit four patients here. But you can imagine as it's set up right now, if you have a, a trauma, we don't usually we don't usually get trauma brought by ambulances because they they'll get triaged down to Harborview. But uh, we certainly have. Good Samaritans who drop off people who have had gunshot wounds and whatever, and uh, and then we stabilize them and ship them to Harborview. And so now we have uh, uh, special psychiatric rooms that uh, uh, we can keep people isolated off. And the camera in the corner of both those rooms so that they can be monitored from outside as well. Uh, this is our decontamination room. Uh, you know, even from the airport last year, there were some workers who were, can, well, exposed to the de-icer. Highline CEO Mark Benetum explained the impact the facilities have for the local communities. Uh, you know, the, the major impact that this has on this community is our ability to provide state-of-the-art health care. And our goal in doing that is that people would not feel like they need to leave uh, this area for uh, downtown health care. I mean, people don't want to go downtown, they don't want to deal with the traffic and the parking issues, and so coming here locally, uh, knowing that there's a state-of-the-art emergency room that has low waiting times and great care, and then that we have enough inpatient beds to be able to handle people and not have to board them in the emergency room, so we think there are just our service levels will be able to, to go up. And you know, one of the big impacts for our community is we're, we're a major employer, if not the major uh, employer other than the airport businesses and the school district. Uh, 
it's really Highline Medical Center and so a large number of, of staff live in the community, support the businesses of this community and so you know our goal is to convince everyone that lives from the south end of Des Moines up to West Seattle that this is their hospital and that our relationships with Swedish and cancer and in heart care uh, that they can get the very best care here in, in those kinds of diagnoses and they've got a high quality emergency room there and then we'll have enough beds to take care of them when they all come here. This is Pat Robinson for HighlineTimes.com.